hi everyone welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to uh, cut a churidar in a cotton material uh, the things you need is chalk tape scissors and a measuring top so now um, this is going to be the lining the patchwork material for this and the fair uh, material and now let's get started First, take your lining. Fold your lining to half. Make sure it's folded correctly. Take your meshing top. Fold that into half. Make sure that the folded corner meet together, something like this. Now mark the exact line and leave a quarter inch and mark another line. Mark to the exact and leave a quarter inch and mark the second line. Same like that, do to the shoulder where it ends. Just mark one line and give a quarter inch and mark another line. For the armhole, mark the exact line, quarter inch, draw another line and mark one line to the slit. And where the churidar end, just mark one line over there. This is going to be, uh, this measurement uh, top has a very close neck at the back, but I need a little bit of uh, my uh, lengthy, so I'm going to take 4 inches, before it was 2 inches, I'm going to take 4, first draw a box. Something like this, and draw an angle line. And curved out. This is going to be the back neck, the shoulder,
for this and this you have to give at least uh, one and a, one or two inches of seam allowance give a two inch and extend this line and First separate the back and the front piece.
and cut, after cutting out the neckline, uh, we are going to cut out the canvas for this. So take your can canvas, that is your interfacing. Just keep the interfacing under the neckline and just trace the same, the next design. And leave a one inch and cut out something like this. Just uh, it should have the same design, but the same pattern. And cut it out something like this. And you're going to give a lining under this interfacing. For that, I take a crepe material. This is a crepe silk. Actually, uh, you you have to take a uh, cotton because it will be more stiffer than the crepe silk. But uh, today I'm not using the cotton, I have only the crepe, so I'm using the crepe material. And in the interfacing, you have two sides in interfacing, one is the rougher side and one is the smooth side. So the smooth side has a, has a glue bubble in it, so just make sure the glue bubble faces your fabric and the rough side faces you. So just place it, place the interfacing on top, uh, on, on top of the fabric what you're going to line with. And be careful because you might burn it. It'll, um, it is a mix of fabric and also with the paper. So you should be really careful. As I'm using a crepe silk as a lining, I place a cotton material on top of that and I'm going to give a press. This is the uh, lining, through the lining, what we cut before. And just place that and give a really tight and a tight, easy press. Just give it a little bit tight. It's not sticking a little bit. First it will be like that and then it will pretend to stick. If, does, if it is not catching the fabric, it's well and good. You can do it as it is. Or else you can just use the same method what I used before. Just line the interfacing with a cotton material and spray a little bit of water and then you start pressing the, pressing the interfacing. It just sticks together firmly and just iron together. When you iron, make sure that you don't um, mess with your neck design because it might turn when you press it tightly. So be careful in that. And press something like this. Okay. There we go. It's ready now. It stick to the fabric firmly. And the next thing what you're going to do now is just cut out the inner part of the fabric. That is the inside of the neck. Just be careful, you don't cut your interfacing, just cut the inner fabric. Okay. Be careful, be slow, and just cut out the inner fabric. And after cutting the inner fabric, just give a quarter inch, uh, not quarter inch, one inch allowance, so that you have to fold that one inch in. Okay. Cut it really close to the interfacing. Okay. Something like this. And as I told, just give a uh, one inch of eleven. <coughs> one inch of eleven and you're going to cut it out. After cutting that, the, just join the lining material with the main piece of the chuda. Just go with, with the 
they think that, as I told before, if you've seen my video before, uh, basting stitch is nothing but the bigger stitch in your machine. Just give the basting stitch all around the trigger. Uh, today, I'm going, to, uh, this, I'm going to just demonstrate how to make the pot neckline. So I'm going to uh, put the basting stitch all around my neck. So uh, just stitch all around the neckline. Okay. First start with uh, sewing the shoulders together. So when the shoulders are firm, you will get the neck design uh, pretty good. You don't mess up with the neck. It comes off really well. So first, I start with uh, stitching the shoulders together, and then uh, stitch the inner neckline. Go all around. Okay. I'm very much pretty uh, conscious of not to change the design of the neck. If you stitch a little bit uh, wider too, it might change the uh, shape of the part neck. So I'm holding the fabric really tight. I'm making sure that the lining and the main piece is joined together and stitching all around. Okay. Just go all around using the basting stitch. Okay. Something like this. Be a little bit slow, just touch very right, but a little bit slow. Don't be faster. So after uh, touching the uh, all over the lining, joining the main piece and the lining, just cut out the inner piece as we did for the interfacing. Just cut out the inner uh, the in inner piece of the trigger. Just cut it out. something like this. Cut this out and Now we are done with the neckline. There we go, it is done. So you no more need that piece. And this is how it looks after cutting the trigger. I'm sorry, cutting the neckline. So
and this is going to be the uh, patchwork what I'm going to give. Just after uh, switching the interfacing, we're going to slide this into the neckline, and this is how it's going to look after finishing the neckline. And this is going to be the interfacing what you're going to use. And what I did is I just marked with a pen, um, giving a quarter inch seam allowance, and just place. Make sure the pre side faces the interfacing. The white side of the interfacing should face you. And just mark, draw a quarter range of uh, seam allowance and draw the same pattern on top of the interfacing. And keeping that mark as a margin and just sew all around the neckline. So that's what I'm doing. Just I'm stitching on top of the pen line what I made before. Just uh, go all around. Uh, before doing this step, I I just folded the the next side of the interfacing, and after folding the interfacing, I'm joining that interfacing to our uh, to our trigger top. So just keeping the pen line as a margin. Uh, now I'm stitching the neckline all over the fabric. Be careful in stitching your neckline. That's going to give a look to your trigger. If the neckline is messed up, uh, you're going to end up with a uh, different neckline. What you uh, you don't come the output won't be that much apt as you think. So you should be very much conscious in making the neckline to your trigger. While coming to the curve, that is the U edge. Just run the machine. For turning that, you have to uh, leave your needle in and take your foot rest up and slowly turn the fabric. That's what I do. See, I'm just going to leave the needle in and taking the foot rest and turning the fabric. To give an easy turn, you have to do this. Needle in, foot up, and turn the fabric. That's it. We are done. And now you're going to turn this interfacing inside. For turning the interfacing, you, uh, you should have to have a easy, crisp edge. You're going to notch or snip the edges. Make sure you don't um, cut into the stretch. So after notching something like this, you can see this. I given a snip and just. Turn the interfacing in, something like this. You can see, just turn the interfacing like this, and just top stitch all over. Just close to the margin, just top stitch all over. And when you give a nice notch to your neckline, that's to the interfacing, you will get a crisp edge, easy crisp edge. The U will come really well. Just stitch all around. Don't forget to notch the neckline. Make sure you don't cut the a stitch. If you cut the stitch, just make sure you just stitch along the edges and go ahead with your neckline. Just stitch all around. As I shown you. 
Mm-hmm. It should be really close to the next line. The stitch, particularly the first stitch, should be really close. And the second stitch, you can give a quarter in seam allowance. And the second stitch should be given a quarter in seam allowance. So this stitch should be really close to the neckline. Same like that, when you get that U shape, just put your needle in, uh, lift your foot up, and keep the clothes round. That will get an easy curve. Okay, turn the fabric. Just give a stretch uh, so that the lining and uh, interfacing is tucked in and it comes a neat U shape. Okay. Just to pull the fabric a little bit tight so that you get the easy edge. And we are we are done with this. And that's it. And we are done with the pocket.